So we hear that United States intelligence data and satellite imagery confirmed that the missile was fired from the territory controlled by self-defense forces. This begs the question, where is this data? Why has it been made public? It's because it is still being cooked, if I may say so. Why is there no comments on the data presented by the Russian Defense Ministry at uh, its briefing? By the way, one of the four United States experts reportedly said that Russia may have been involved in creating conditions for the launch of this missile. It was nice, of course, of the other three that they didn't say anything, but what about the fourth? Does he have any grounds to make such accusations, or it is something predeterminated? United States official rules out the possibility that the plane was shot down by the Ukrainian military because they say the plane was outside the range of their missiles. This begs the question. Are the United States experts ready to assume responsibility for their claims? Do they know where all the same launches are deployed in Ukraine? What do they have to say about the monitoring data presented by Russia? Do they ignore it simply because there is nothing for them to say? Let me ask you a question. What if United States territory was shelled from a neighboring country and, God forbid, a U.S. citizen was killed? What would be the United States do? I think the answer is obvious. Yet Russia is behaving in a reserved and responsible manner. It is therefore self-evident who is trying to provoke whom at the border. Why don't you take note of the constant rocket shouting of Donetsk and Lugansk instead, which claim civilian lives? Please answer these questions, because we have many more coming up.